Hey, what's going on guys? Storm1092 here, bringing you another SOCOM related video. Um, this one's actually going to be about SOCOM confrontation and why it got such a bad rap. Now, I'm just kind of wondering why the community absolutely pretty much killed this game off to begin with. Like, as far as I know, when this game first launched, the first at least year and a half, two years, it was nothing but, you know, problems and stuff like this. And people went back and played Combined Assault. Um, that's not a bad thing because that game is actually very, very well done. I do enjoy Combined Assault even to this day, and I would actually say it, it's my favorite um, SOCOM to date. Because, not just because of the graphics or the gameplay or anything like that, it's the variety that game offers. Combined Assault was, you could do the small maps, 8v8, 6v6, 4v4, whatever you'd like. You could even do 12 on 12 if you were really into that. Um, but they also had vehicles, big maps that you could do 32 players, and that was a lot back then. Like, the, I don't think people realize, like, 32 players was a lot of players on the PlayStation 2 at once. Um, I, I can't, Death, what is it, Death Valley or Death Road? I can't remember the name of it, but man, that thing was played all the time. And pretty much if you went into the town, you're going to get sniped. <laughs> That's what I remember about that map. Um, you didn't get that in a lot of other games, but getting back to the confrontation, um, this game was plagued with bugs and glitches and stuff like that for the first year, year and a half, two years, something like that. I can't remember the exact timeline, but man, this game actually was a solid game after a while. Uh, it introduced a sprint button. People weren't happy about that, but it made it more, um, I guess, realistic it was kind of slant six's take on socom and they actually if you ask me they did a fantastic job uh it introduced the over the shoulder um from what i understand is it just gave you another option to play with you could play with different camera angles i don't think anybody really used it except for a select few um it, it was more of a cinematic look if you ask me it probably worked really good if it was like a single player game like the over shoulder but competitively you had to use the classic socom um, camera um it you know i had some of my best times on confrontation like i used to be in a clan called the unknowns and it, it was every night we would play um also the real socom community nights were always on there active on there and yeah we those that game really kind of took a while to get the community onto it like i said before um the biggest thing about the game though is the maps like the maps were at if you ask me were fantastic um slant six's take on the crossroads making it bigger you know they took some of the classic maps and changed them a little bit I don't think we'll ever see that in another SOCOM game, if there is ever again, because people are too set on the classic SOCOMs, because they don't want change, people don't want change. If you ask me, I think what they really need to do is relaunch a SOCOM title, just like how they did with God of War, and I've mentioned that before. Um, but I just want to really know why Confrontation gets so much you know gripe about it. it if you ask me it was actually a very solid game it worked well after they fixed all the bugs i mean it was slant 6's first attempt at a socom and every single game around that era was broken every one of them so i mean can we really blame them because they were on a timeline but let me know what you think in the comments below uh we will see you next video and thanks for watching